Thanks for joining our webinar. Today we'll cover how to update services using the GMS Adjustment Spreadsheet. The first step is to open your GMS Adjustment Spreadsheet and ensure the subsidy amounts are the latest and correct. MedTech will periodically update the GMS Adjustment Spreadsheet when new subsidies are released from the Ministry of Health. These will be available on our website or Insight Customer Portal. As you can see on the spreadsheet here, we're on the Subsidies tab and these are the subsidies that we're checking are correct. Within the spreadsheet, you will see each corresponding service as a sheet at the bottom of the screen in tabs. Go to your selected service, and today we will work on consultation, and enter your co-payment amount for each age and entitlement group from the grid at the top of the spreadsheet here. At this stage, you need to stop and ensure the amounts in E6, which are registered A3s aged 25 to 44, or J6, which are casual a3s aged 25 to 44 are highest of all the amounts you have entered into that grid. Theoretically, this should be the highest amount that you would ever charge a patient in your clinic for that service. The value in the cell E6 here will auto populate into the service fee box on the bottom right hand side. In the event that J6 is in fact the higher amount, you can enter that amount manually into the service fee box on the right hand side. Once the co-payments have been entered and the service fee is calculated, the corresponding GMS adjustments will be found in the GMS adjustment grid below. This information is now ready to be entered into your PMS. In MedTech Evolution, open the View Service window by going to File, Options, Accounting, Service, and we will select the C for Consult code. First, you need to enter the service fee on the main tab here and ensure that it matches the service fee that's on your spreadsheet on the right hand side down here. Then select the GMS Adjustment tab and copy all the values from the lower grid on the GMS Adjustment spreadsheet to the grid in the PMS and click OK. Once you have updated the values, ensure this is correct by invoicing a patient with that service code, checking that the service amount and subsidy amounts are as expected. For further information, please read the GMS Adjustment User Guide. Thank you.